Now, let's look at modulating data onto such a signal. Clearly, we can't just send the guy a nice sine wave because that's no information. Right, in the earlier days, we got ways to manipulate the sine wave. We can manipulate its frequency, its amplitude, and its phase. Now, sine wave, of course, looks like that. That's considered from the peak to the three peak to the 360 degrees. And we can shift that phase. So, so we never transmit these four together. We can transmit the guy like this, and then do a sudden shift to this. That would shift it by 90 degrees. And shifting by 90 degrees is called um, QPSK, quadrature phase shift keying. And because you've now got four possible sine waves, never together, we're shifting them. Okay. The rate at which we can shift is fixed by the bandwidth, that actual megahertz bandwidth that the operator owns, whether it's 10, 20 megahertz, 5 megahertz. I'm going to sort of assume a value of 10 megahertz bandwidth. The rate at which we can shift between symbols is called the symbol rate. And for arguments purposes, not exactly equal. Normally, symbol rate is slightly less than the bandwidth. But let's assume we've got a bandwidth that will support 10 mega symbols per second. That means it can change 10 million times per second. And each will send a symbol. Now, a symbol would be in this case either 90 degrees. You can see it's represented on this constellation diagram like these dots. The red dot would be the one waveform. We shift that waveform, we get to this dot, we shift it again, and we've got four possible. If we do 90 degrees, we've got four possible symbols or states for the symbol. Let me keep the correct nomenclature. That indicates the phase between them. But note that that there is equal to the height. So that's the amplitude. In QPSK, we don't change the amplitude. But that's why the further schemes are always called QAM, Quadrature Amplitude Modulation, because we do start using it. Now, just to make it clear, in this case, because we've got four, we can make the first one represent zero, zero, two bits. Next one, zero, one, one, zero, one, one. That's the only combination of two bits we can ever find. But note that even though we've got four states, we can send two bits, so it's two to the number of bits. In this case, it's two to the two is equal to four. So you've got four states, you can transmit two bits. So in this case, the receiver will get, the transmitter would get two bits. If those two bits are zero and one, it will set the carrier to this phase. Then it will wait for the next two bits. If the next two bits is one, one, it will set it to this phase. What I'm trying to say, so we're still going at 10 mega symbols per second. But each symbol now contains two bits, so we have 20 megabits per second. So we do a bit of magic. We get more data through the same bandwidth. But this is the capacity of the base station, 10 mega symbols per second in this example.